Time for a reef update. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again. I'm coming at you today with just an update on my reef tank. Wanted to uh, kind of let you guys know how things are going and uh, take you through the good and the bad, I guess. So uh, here we go. Um, I guess we'll just start with this guy right up front. I've got a new uh, skunk cleaner shrimp. I'm not sure if I had him last time I did an update, but uh, he's always out front and front and center and loving the reef. I had originally gotten one when I first set this up and he didn't last too long. Um, neither did my original firefish, my purple firefish. But I'm just trying to zoom in now. I've got another one of those too. This guy is just awesome. He likes to hang out in this little cave and he'll come out from time to time though. But uh, yeah, the colors on these purple firefish are just really cool. Really digging this guy. Let's see if I'll put his little fin up. Oh, it went up a few times. Um, back there is the uh, Randall's goby, orange prawn goby, whatever you want to call it. He's been doing a lot of digging in this corner right here lately, but. Really digging that fish also. Really fun. Um, the two clowns. Of course, uh, you can't uh, can't go without uh, showing them. They're looking great. And then the pajama cardinal over there. Oh, he just hid. Came out over on this side now. See him kind of in the back of the tank. Um, doing well also. Uh, also in here I've got um, a peppermint shrimp and a fire shrimp. They do tend to hide out more in the rock structure and in the back. And then I've got, uh, started with six sexy shrimp. There's one of them. Really hard to zoom in with this, on this tank for some reason. I suppose because there's so many things for the tank to focus on. But there's one of the sexy shrimp up there. There's a couple more down by this uh, by this uh, coral. Um, I don't think I've got all six of them anymore. I think I've lost one, but at any rate, it is what it is. I'll kind of take you through the corals now. Um, starting up here, um, candy cane on top. Um, I thought that this thing was a goner, but it's really starting to open back up now. The one side looks like it's actually kind of split, and one of the two new ones is starting to open. But yeah, looking good. Um, and then right next to it is the trumpet. That thing's really, since I bought this, is just a frag. It's really been taken off, so that's cool. Um, some different zoas over on this kind of corner. This is going to kind of be my zoa garden. Uh, this one's a little overtaken. I've been having some problems. Bubble algae, green bubble algae keeps growing on it, as well as this uh, kind of brown stringy algae. Been working at uh, getting that off. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what's going on up there. I forgot what this is called, but. Uh, Got this guy up at the top. My hammer coral. Uh, the hammer had been closing up a lot lately. I've got some high phosphates going on and I'm working at getting those uh, lowered. Um, I think that's what's causing it. Same with, uh, with this guy here, um, the frog spawn, green on green frog spawn. Um, it's not open as much as it used to be, if you remember from my videos, but uh, we're working on that. Uh, the Recordia down here is looking decent. I recently had to um, remove some uh, green bubble algae from it, so it hasn't quite gotten back to where it was before that, but at any rate, um, it's doing well. Uh, green star polyps down here continue to grow. Um, 
It's gonna look really cool once they kind of take over this entire rock. And then my pearl uh, bubble right here, it's doing well. And then uh, some other stuff back here. Now this is the um, torch coral that used to be kind of down in front here before I started gluing my corals to the rocks. This thing has closed up completely. It's just today starting to open a teeny, teeny bit. Um, and uh, again, I'm attributing that to the high phosphates. Um, but yeah, everything's doing good for the most part. Having a few ups and downs, but I can't complain too much. Um, one equipment problem that I did have was um, the controller for these Steve's LED lights that I've got. Um, it's called a Typhoon controller. It used to be mounted right where this Velcro is. Um, I got water in it, even though it's got a case. I bought this casing for it. There's still some ways for water to get in, and uh, my bad. I should have probably mounted it under, um, underneath the in inside the cabinet instead of outside. But I wasn't thinking, so so I've got a new one on the way. And once I get that, uh, we'll install that, and then I can quit uh, operating the lights manually again. But yeah, otherwise everything's going real well. As well as can be expected, I guess. You know, I've got good days and bad days, uh, frustration, and then sometimes I, other times I'm thinking this is great, you know, just kind of how it goes when you're new with a, a, a different type of, uh, or when you're new to reefing, I guess. So, just looking around the back to see if I can find any of the other shrimp. I can't at this point, so we'll leave it at that. But, Oh, the other thing is, is I, I had that nice rose anemone, rose red anemone, and then um, I had a bubble tip, a white bubble tip anemone. Those are both gone. I, last weekend, took apart this rock structure to search for them, and, and they're gone. So I don't know. I can only assume that they died, and... Um, were eaten by scavengers in here and or uh, you know the bacteria. But nitrates in this tank are almost down to zero so things are looking really good. I'm still working on some of the other water parameters getting them dialed in exactly where I want them to be but you know for the most part everything's good so I guess that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching just wanted to show you guys an update on the reef. Um, as always, make sure you go over and check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. They'll be linked up below. Um, make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook and uh, become a member of that group. And uh, as always, uh, you know, just thanks for watching and thanks all my subscribers uh, for continuing to watch these videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks.